Hello, this is Christine with uh, cricketscreativecorner.com or cricketscorner.stampinup.net and I'm going to show you a real quick layout with uh, using the Cool Treats stamp set and uh, the ink pads and all this good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, here is the Cool Treats stamp set that I'm using and I'm only using one stamp out of here. It's the Happiest Birthday. And we're going to use, of course, our snail adhesive, some glue dots, the um, fine tip glue pen for the little intricate details I need to glue down. The, um, what is this called? This is called the Calypso Coral Thick Baker's Twine. We're going to use some of that. We have the new, um, I'm not sure if it's new, but the pink ribbon. The stitched ribbon okay I've got my little stamp I am using another stamp I forgot I'm using the little um, confetti we're gonna try a little bit of confetti on one of the uh, pieces too so we have the island indigo melon mambo and calypso coral so we're gonna use for the um, the confetti and then these are all the papers that we're using for the layout, the scrapbook page that I'm using. I just wanted to show you that you can actually uh, use Stampin' Up uh, with your scrapbook page layouts, not just for cards and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, most of these um, pages are, are from the Cool Treats uh, Designer Series paper. And of course I have the uh, doilies. These are the uh, white tea lace paper doilies. So I'm gonna use two of those. And I've already cut out everything I need for this page uh, just to save some time. So I've got uh, the lots of labels uh, with the stamp that I stamped on earlier. Okay, and then these are all of our little pieces we're gonna use to put this scrapbook page together. So I'm gonna try to do this really quick. I have just a little bit of time to get this done. Let me get all these out of the way don't need all those little pieces just yet don't want to lose the little little bitty pieces the little cherry and the spoon and all that so okay let me see if I can get this kind of organized so the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got this designer series paper it has like a little shimmer to it if you could tell there you go so that's our base so I'm gonna go ahead and use my snail I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down real quick Okay, and I'm gonna put it, let's see, I'm gonna put, I have an idea of what I'm doing already, so let me just put this down here because it's gonna kinda show me where this next piece is gonna go. So I want this to kinda line up to the top and the side, so it'll be kinda in the corner. So now I can go ahead and flip this over and I want it to line up right here. Just like that, okay. So that's our first piece, our first major piece. So uh, let's see, then we're gonna go ahead and start putting the parts on that will actually hold a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start on this. First of all, I wanted to go ahead and use my baker's twine on this, so I'm gonna get my clips of cord baker's twine. And I'm gonna get a couple of strands going. Let's see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the the uh, snail adhesive that I put down to hold this down. Hopefully it'll stay okay. Let's see if I can get this going right the way I want it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Let me grab my scissors real quick. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I could, hopefully that'll stay. I think it'll, I think it'll stay okay. Get it stuck on the actual piece. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of the snail adhesive on here just to make sure it stays down really well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this, I think right at the top, top right left corner. Okay, so we got that. And the next piece is I've got the yellow I mean the yellow, the blue, this is a uh, soft sky cardstock. Go ahead and lay that down. Put it 
right in here, right in the middle to make it nice and even. And that's where you're gonna put your first picture. All right, and we got these other little pieces. This is um, this one is called Melon Mambo Hardstock. I'm gonna put it right here. Oops, hang on a second. Put it underneath. <laughs> I want it to be even with this. Put it right in the corner there, just like that. Get that. Make sure it's all down real well. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. Okay, the next piece is I'm gonna put. This card's uh, designer series paper down at the bottom. Maybe slide it up a little bit for you. Put it kind of in the middle, but not directly in the middle. Kind of more to the right. Okay. And then this piece is going to be your second picture that you could put there. So we're going to put this designer series paper down. Put it right in the middle. Just like that. Okay, so we got the base of it down. Hopefully you can see all that. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my pink ribbon and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. I want it to be right on the edge of that orange. Okay, I'm gonna take my snail adhesive and put a couple of strips right there so it'll stay real well. Okay, fold it over, fold it over. And I'm gonna do another set right here at the, just underneath it. Okay, so for, that's for my second ribbon. Okay, put it where I want it, make sure it's not twisted. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're gonna take the doilies. One of them. Put it right here. Put one right here in the corner. And I'm gonna put the other one at the top corner. Right in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, ink real quick. Go ahead and use my stamp. So I can use, uh, show you what I'm gonna do with the confetti, just to kind of dress it up just a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a few things of confetti right here at the uh, edge. Put some up here. Okay, and I'm gonna use my stamp and scrub. Grab my mist. So I can clean this stamp off to do the next color. Go ahead and put this one away. This one was um, Calypso Coral. Okay. Next one is Melon Mambo. Gonna work quick because my battery's just about done. Oh, goodness, that was lucky. Go ahead and put those on there. Okay, do a couple more. Top. Down here. Okay. Go ahead and clean my stamp real quick. Put that one away. I'm going to use the Island Indigo. Just kind of dresses it up just a little bit. Let me get that one again. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that one again real quick. Goes right. I don't know if I'll be able to see it and put it in the right spot. Let's see. Okay. One more. There. It's hard to do when you're off camera. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and do my little pieces that I cut out the... Uh, the ice cream. So we're going to go ahead and put this down. Oh, ice cream. There we go. <laughs> Let me get our little ice cream ready. There we go. Okay. So I'll put the pink one down. Actually, I could use a pop dot. 
a um, glue dot real quick. Okay, there's one. Let's do this one. Two. Cute. And then I'm going to get a Stampin' Dimensional. Let me find one real quick. I just need one for the last one. And then we're going to put the little cherry on top. Let me get that ready. Itty bitty thing. We're going to use our fine tip glue. Okay. Oops. This is so tiny. Just put just a little bit on there, not a whole lot. Put this back on there immediately so it doesn't get clogged up, dried out and clogged up. Let me see if I can get that on there. There we go. That way it doesn't get clogged up. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, cherry. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm trying to hurry and it's getting everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there on the top of that cute little ice cream. I'm going to get a, uh, a, a Stampin' um, glue dot. I'm going to put the spoon right there. Adorable. We're going to be real quick and we're going to do the little ice cream cones. Okay, I'm going to put one right here. Hope you can see that. <laughs> and I'm going to take the pink one. Let me, I'm going to do a another dimensional so it'll just stand up like it's actually standing on top of a ice cream cone. Just need one. Pull the paper off. And, oh, I put it on the wrong side. Hold on. We don't want that other side to be showing. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one ready to put on there. Get my snail adhesive. <laughs> I'm working really fast because my battery's about to die. And I've got to bring my daughter to dance in like 10 minutes. Here's that one. Okay, one more thing <laughs> is the label. Let me grab that. Move everything out of the way so I can grab it. Okay, so we're gonna put this. Let's see, I'm gonna put, do some more dimensionals on the back of this one. Okay, we'll do four. And there we go. Take these off. Oops. Well. There's one, okay. This one and this one. <laughs> Put it on top of the lots of labels um, framework. And then I'm gonna put it down with some snail adhesive. And I'm gonna put it right here at the top. And I'm not gonna do it straight, I'm gonna do it kinda crooked. So, there we go. All right, so there is your <laughs> quick and simple um, layout page for a scrapbook page. Um, this, it can be covered up by a, a picture. Let's say, let's just pretend we find a piece of paper that would actually kind of fit that. Uh, I'll just pretend this is one. Let me cut it real quick so it won't be so large. Let me get it cut. And we could pretend that this is the picture. And so you're going to lay it down right on top of that. And you could still see your cute little uh, confetti on either side. So, anyway, that is the layout page. I just want to show you real quick that it can be done with Stampin' Up products. It's not just for card making and um, different crafts like that. You can use it for your scrapbook pages as well. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can go to uh, cricketscreativecorner.com for my blog, and you can go to uh, cricketscorner.stampinup.net to purchase anything that's in this set. I'll go ahead and label everything below in the description, and that way you will have all the catalog numbers and everything in order to uh, order everything you see here. Also, you, um, if you decide you want to become a demonstrator, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. You can go to the same website at cricketscorner.stampinup.net and click join. 
and um, we would love to have you on the team. So anyway, y'all have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.